Hey guys, welcome to my very first Sims 3 LP and it is the... Wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second, you two, wait a second. Don't, don't check out the new things just yet, you two. I've got to introduce you guys. So, I think I'm the third per the third person to do this challenge, I think, because I've seen another girl do it. Other than the person who created this challenge, I think her name, her username is Southern Simmer, so a credit goes to her. Um, so basically, this is called the 50 Folds Challenge, and it's about getting your mare pregnant with 50 Folds. Um, I'm going to say some of the rules I remember, and what I remember is that the Folds have to have different fathers. Um, your sim cannot get a job. Your sims cannot get a job. And so the only, so the only way they can make money is by guarding, by do, making a garden and selling their, um, things that they collect from it. Or they enter horse competitions and, um, I'm sorry if you guys can hear me breathe a little bit new uh, microphone so yeah and I feel like I'm forgetting one. Oh, I forgot how big the lot you're supposed to have but I thought this would be a good lot because it has a gate and stuff though though we might move if we get so many horses though I think this would be nice so I'll put all the ex the rules that I didn't name in this video um, in the description below. So let's just um, get to know our Sims. Now this is Janet Ray, who I based off of Applejack from My Little Pony, because my little friend's little sister really likes that show. <laughs> it's adorable. And I tried making her What If She Was Human, because I've seen a lot of fan art, and I think it's cute and it inspired me. To, let's see if I can make a sim look like that. So, I think she would have a ponytail. Yes, this is an Elsa, Elsa braid, if you're wondering. I think she would wear this top and shorts. And my favorite thing about this whole outfit is the boots. Because I have some boots in real life. But it's not brown, it's like blue and brown. So, Janet's traits are handy, family oriented family oriented, am a lover and green thumb and friendly. Her backstory is that when she was little her parents got into got a divorce good divorce and her mom moved to the big city. Her father, Janet's father, didn't want his daughter to keep like taking airplanes back and forth from Appaloosa Plains in Bridgeport. So what happened was that she was really sad. She, her mother tried to turn her into a city girl, but she didn't want to become that. She wanted to be on a ranch and be that old-fashioned self, self she once was when she was little. But as time went on, she was Skyping with her father, and she was thinking about once she has her rights to move out, she can um, have her own ranch and stuff like that. Her father wanted to help her with that. But one day before she could even plan all that stuff out with him, he died in a car accident. And in his will, he gave his daughter his ranch. It was really sad because he really didn't expect to die so quickly. But he left his daughter a welcome home present, which was Puka, who is a Clydesdale, I believe. I'm pretty sure she is. And... Janet was heartbroken. She had no idea what to say. She wanted to see her father again. She wanted to tell him thank you for the horse and the ranch. So the minute she heard about the will and the horse, she got on a plane to Appaloosa Plains and she is going to rebuild her father's ranch. Because when she and her mother left, that it was like her father just broke down. He was hurt it's his ranch used to be huge but he moved here and just stopped so yeah 
And here's Puka, who I named after... Uh, what's that? Um, that cartoon that Disney XD used to have when it was called Jetix. Uh, if you look up Puka, you'll know what I mean. Just the name Puka. Puka's traits are brave, fast, and friendly. And yeah, she's a Clydesdale. Now for some reason, Janet was mounting her, so I had to get her off. So, maybe we'll just go ahead and get Puka pregnant today. But first, I want to kind of build a garden, but I've got to buy things and stuff like seeds and, or look for seeds. <laughs> Let me fix my microphone. Okay, there we go. What you doing? Bag for carrots. Oh, she's paid. This is cute. <laughs> Bazaba. Learn writing skill. Okay, um, the thing I also like about living here is that we're really close to this. And since we're gonna breed our mare, I know first episode we're already giving, get, get, getting her pregnant. Excuse my language because I'm being tongue twisted at the moment. So we're going to Okay, I know you I know you like I know you like everything in this house, but now is at the time we've got to get Puka pregnant. So we're going to mount Puka. I really love her saddle, it's cute. So we're gonna mount her. And we're gonna go here. I'm going to breed our mare. Then after we breed our mare, we might take some riding classes because you know she's pregnant and all that stuff. I think you're allowed to take a riding class because you know gain skill up faster. The goodness is we don't have to wait all the way there because I didn't pick a bar house. Cause it's actually a quick trip, they're just gonna take a little path. So they are really slow. Because I think I chose a house somewhere over here and I had a and my horse and my sim had a literally ride all the way from up there to down here. So, hey, we don't have that bad, bad distance between our house and the equestrian center. Yeah, that's what I want to say. So, yeah. Sorry about that guys, and um, they're almost there, they're still far, but hey, at least they don't live way up here. So, finally, they've arrived, and my horse, please don't, please don't, she's about to, what you call it, she's gonna, what, what you call it? I'm, I'm trying to think of the word. Buck. Yes, she's probably gonna buck Janet off in any second. Spending a lot of time in the back of a horse tends to leave quite an impression. Uh, yeah, yeah. If you ride horses, you will understand because the saddle does hurt from time to time. So I've got Breaker, Cascade. I don't know how to say your name. Cav. Uh, Tina? I don't know. Air Shaker, Bolt, Magpie, Sable, and Swell. Now, a lot of people breed their horses with Cascade in most Sims um, pets let's plays I've seen. Um, but I might. I'm thinking about Earth Shaker because he does give some interesting fools. Mm, I don't know. 
sorry if I make that sound. Um, I'm thinking. Gotta check the traits. Noisy. Okay, he's nervous. Uh, I'm gonna go with this guy. He looks pretty. He looks like a paint. Wait, is he a paint? No, he's mixed, but he looks like a paint. Well, this is a quick episode. In the next episode, hopefully... You know, we can't get married right now, Janet. Wait, where are they? Alright, um, saddle. We're gonna unsaddle our mare. I don't know, man, Janet is, like... <coughs> she really wants to draw very badly. Why did, why did he take the saddle off? And saddle the horse. What? Okay, uh... Okay, we're gonna have them... We're gonna have Puka step over. Go here. Ooh, another horse! What's he doing out here alone? Janet? Wait, what? Mm. Compliment? Yeah. Someone's complimenting me? <laughs> Krela, Nork. Mm -hmm. Simiko. Oh! Someone? Someone was trying to talk to me, but I've got to take the saddle off of my horse. I'm sorry. I'll watch it right soon. No. Oh, Janet. Raccoons in this game bug me a lot because they knock over your trash can. And then you know that milk that water. Someone will be like, ugh, this is gross. And I'm always thinking, well, what's gross? So, we're gonna have them go home. No, she doesn't have to go home. She can just spend the night over here since it is late. And over here they have some stalls that we could possibly spend the night in. Let's see. Yes, we can. So she's gonna go eat hay. And she's going to drink. And then she's going to nap. And Janet is going home. She's going to have a quick meal, like some cereal or something, and she's just going to go straight to bed. Have a quick meal, cereal, and she's going to go straight to bed. So yeah, this episode was just a nice start. Our mare is already pregnant, and that is all we need right now. And we're going to... Make sure that these two are in bed, and then in the next episode, hopefully she'll give birth. And I hope I think I hope it's a cold or a cold, because most of the time I get fillies. She wants to drink from a pond, yet you've got a nice watering trough in here. I'm pretty sure that's a watering trough. I forget. I forgot what these are called when they're in the stalls, but I'm pretty sure it's a watering trough. Okay, she's asleep. She wants... <laughs> Ooh, she wants to become best friends with the dude she just met. Maybe we will, because you are... Oh, yeah, um, and one of the rules, you are allowed to add sims in your household and all that stuff. But like I said, everything else will be in the description. And now she's sleeping. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode here since it's a nice night, and in the next episode, which I will be recording shortly when this, while this is uploading, um, we're going to see if Puka is going to give birth the next episode, and we're going to try to get Janet some friends, you know? Because during challenges like this, to me, I feel like people don't really let their sims make friends. It's all about the babies. The more babies, the laggier the game will get, so I have to enjoy my laggy free game while I can. 
Alright guys, I'm Kawaii Cat and I will see you guys later. Bye!